Here. There. Why can't I do this? Nope. There. Now I'm hoping you've noticed that behind me, at the side, I'm looking at the screen here if you're wondering why. Here. Over here, over here, is a nice new background support system. I've got another one over there which covers my blacks, greys and whites, and they all need a bit of updating and tidying up and there's a few new roles ordering which is why some gaps in there. But I have struggled for years with storage for these and I'm gonna pop the link of the Instagram account from the guy who got me onto the idea of having them upright. Um, but I, I looked online and all the brands had their own systems. One, they were incredibly expensive. And two, they didn't fit my needs. I had a very specific need. And if you can't buy it, you should build it. And I built it. I should preface this with my DIY skills are so bad. I didn't even realize that different screws needed different screwdriver heads apart from Phillips and the flat sort of straight line one. Um, so this is really easy. Anyone can do it. All you need is some PVC pipes at four inches or 100 millimeters and a plank of two by four. I'm gonna go over to the workbench and show exactly how to do it. And the one behind me is built so slapdash. I didn't use a tape measure. That did use a spirit level to put it up, which I was quite impressed with, but also my mate actually did the putting up of it because I was too short. But spirit level, you need a drill, a wood drill bit, a screwdriver doofer to go into the end of it, your two by four and your bits of plastic circle. Let me show you, wait there. These here, these are four inch like connector pipe things with holes in them. They cost about 98 pence each, less than a dollar. Um, I'm gonna put a link to where you can get them from the UK because it actually took me a long time to find these. I got them from a place called Tool Station. Um, I'm sure you can find them in other countries as well. Tool Station I think is UK only. I'd never heard of them, it was just a Google search to get hold of it. All we're going to do is drill these into a plank of wood. So the build of this is so simple. All we're gonna do is take however many of these we need drill them in. Now you could do some pilot holes first, but I just prefer brute force, to be honest. Um, so one screw I'll put through the hole, the next one through the top, and it's as simple as that. Now, they look a bit wonky when you put them on, but once they're up on the walls, you can't tell the difference. I'm sure you could measure them out precisely, but I'm not that type of person. I'm all about the brute force and speed. So I knock these together really quickly, drill them all in, and we're good to go. Now, before you screw it into the wall, it's worth drilling some pilot holes into the wood just to help yourself out a little bit because if you're doing the full size rolls, you're actually ending up quite high in the air and it's, it doesn't hurt to help yourself. Just a thin wooden drill bit, drill it through. You know, nothing fancy here. I just use screws and raw plugs into a wall and we're good to go. And that's it. Really straightforward, really simple. Costs a few pounds, takes a little bit of time. Probably need two people in order to get it up. The main thing to remember is to get it up high enough that you can actually hook the paper rolls underneath. You know, but not so high that they're all flailing in the wind. It has probably had the biggest impact on my studio in terms of looks and aesthetics out of everything I've done and also had the lowest cost. I cannot recommend doing it enough. I wish I'd done it sooner, but if you have a studio space or you're at home studio, your paper rolls, get them up like this. I've got my little rolls as well with a lower down one, you know, the half size rolls. I think they're like 1.75, no. Yeah, something like maybe a meter wide. I want to lower down one of those up against the wall too. So rather than having them all resting or laying, whatever it may be, this just keeps them nice, it keeps them tidy, and it looks, I think it looks quite good as a background. It's this side, I've still not got the hang of this. Um, and once I've got all my colors in there, I'll probably go for a rainbow order or something like that. But, you know, fill your boots, do whatever looks good for you. I hope this has been of use to you. If you like these sorts of videos about the studio build, let me know and I'll try and do some more for you soon. Thank you very much.